Hello ladies and gentlemen, Safe House here bringing to you another dungeon fight, this time the Hellbender in the Brave Flox's long stop. This is the mini boss before you fight Aatar, which is the big ass dragon. As you can see we're in a three man party, and just about here is when I start to think, well we're not actually going to be able to do this three man. But then the heals come in and I get back on top of things. Uh, our tank actually left after the first mini boss, he didn't really seem to know what was going on, uh, we only just got through it. Not really because of him, but we did make it through and we've just been free manning since then. It's obviously a lot slower not having a tank, but it works out not too badly because I'm obviously a melee DPS playing as a Dragoon and I'm a little bit tanky, more tanky than anyone else in the party especially, and because I'm generating the most threat, it works out well with the boss actually staying on me without having any threat generating moves. The main reason we can do this free man though is not because of my tankiness, but it's actually because of our amazing healer. He or she really knows what they're doing. They are actually a legacy player, they stated before, with a level 50 white mage. So they obviously know how to heal. They are actually playing a scholar at the moment, which is the heals I am receiving now. And they're doing it very well. As you can see, just in the background there, our healer has been encased in a bubble. And I am too busy focusing on the boss to have noticed. I should be over there trying to break that bubble right now. Okay, see, so I've noticed now, but... Oh, she's almost out of it already. That's fine. Just yeah, keep out of that boss's AoE as well. Doesn't do any damage. I'm pretty sure it lowers your magic resistance. Something along those lines. But otherwise, we're just yeah, tanking and spanking. Just would keep watching out for those bubbles because they can be a little bit hard to tell, especially when you're in a tense fight like this. Just trying to stay alive. Really, I'm popping all my cooldowns to get my health back. Another thing helping us out in this fight is dragoons actually have quite a few ways of gaining health back with like health pots, second wind, blood bath and life surge. So we've got four ways, of, they really do actually heal quite a bit. I do also eat a couple of these AoEs that maybe looks like I'm out of, that's just because of my latency from living in Australia. And I keep trying to use my uh, backflip which is on mouse button 4, but because you get scaled down to level 34 and I'm level 36, I've gotten used to using that ability which actually backflips me out of any dangerous area and I try to use it a few times here which Obviously it doesn't work, so when you down level 34, you can only use abilities up to that level. So, here's me being bad again with the caster this time being encased in a bubble, and me not noticing being too focused on the boss and my cooldowns, trying to stay alive. Uh, here we go, I've noticed just now, getting over there to break him out, but while I'm doing that, our healer actually gets encased as well. But while you're in the bubble, you can still cast spells and whatever, as you can see, the healer's still throwing heals onto me. But, it's getting into a bit of a crucial stage of the fight. The mini boss is getting kind of low. As you can see, a tank has just joined our party, but he obviously can't get into the actual mini boss fight until we've finished it because it is closed off. He's not in for long though, he actually does bail back out again. He comes back again and leaves again another three times from here. He's actually having issues with moving and controlling his character, so. He eventually does get in and it is working and he takes the last fight for us and you can see that in another video, I will put a link to it in the description where we actually finish off Aatar who has just come down into the fight. Once you get Aatar down to, I'm not really sure how much HP it is, I'm sure we'll see in a second, but he takes off back to his lair where we will get to fight him in the final fight for this dungeon. He actually takes off at 3 quarters HP and heads off, so I... We're almost there now. We're not gonna. We're not gonna fail this now. I, I, I can uh, assure you of that. And I hope you don't have to encounter the free man. But guys, don't get down if it does happen. It just proves that you can do it. Good luck. Thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you out, or you just enjoyed it, please smack that like button. Or you can also subscribe to my channel for more videos similar to this one. Thanks, guys.